Hey guys, so as you can see here, got the new GoPro Hero 9. All my videos are going to be recorded in this now. I've got some new stickers, some new cards, and I've got some new merch to send out to some people. Uh, but you'd have to message me on here to buy that because I've not got a shop yet as I'm not in the YouTube partnership. I'm not good enough for him yet. This video is for Doug. It's his new bowl I sent over to him just to say thank you for him supporting me and getting me into wood turning for you guys. Okay, so we've got it all chucked up between centers. Got my new Robert Sorby step center in there as well. And uh, let's see if it spins okay. 500. Oh, that doesn't seem bad. Six hundred out of it. Seven hundred. We'll probably keep it that. I'll sign a bit. Right, get the face mask on. So, no new things today is. We've got new apron to cover me up. I've got a proper rubber one, so hopefully the sanding sealer won't melt its way through the plastic one like it did last time. So this one will be alright. And we've got a new jacket as well. Um, a nice regatta outdoor waterproof jacket that's uh, well, it probably make me sweat quite a bit, which well, won't be a bad thing, lose some weight. But um, It'll stop any sawdust from getting in, and it's nice and tight around the neck as well, so could be okay there. All the chisels have just been sharpened up, sharpened everything up. And the Robert Sorby Pro Edge. So we've got nice and sharp now. Still got the marker pen from left on there, so both sharpened it up. Let's see if we can't make a mess. As you can see here, I'm just establishing a tenon on the bottom, ready to turn it round. Let's get that chucked up now. So this will be the top, this will be the bottom obviously. And then we'll mark it out, ready to rock and roll. Might be a fair size of the I'm going to make it quite thin to make it light enough. Otherwise it cost me a fortune to send it over to you, Doug.
Right, let's get it all marked out. And uh, maybe we'll sweep up some of this mess I've made. For this base, I don't want any mortise in there. That's why I've just put a tenon on the end. So at the minute, we've got a tenon sat there. Obviously, that's way off centre, but yeah. And a tenon sat here at the minute. I want to obviously in the end turn that completely flat but the most important bit is getting these marked out now as we want them on there so That one's parting off. Out right there. And at the same time, we can make the um, tenon to go into the mortise on the inside. And that should be fun. As you can see here, I'm just establishing a tenon so that we're going to mortise. Their lid's going to be tiny, absolutely tiny, but that'll be good for Doug. Right, let's get that separated. Get the lid parted off from the base. That's going to be a good thin lid. I like to be careful here because I don't like it to just catch and fire that parting tool straight in my face. enough for me when it's wobbling like that. Just get the hat saw out. Just cut that off. And just got it. Well we're nearly there anyway look at that. Tiny little bit. Right, ready to get this lid marked out for here. So what we need to do is we need to take the measurement of that, the width of it. Do that on, set calipers. Right, 
maximum width is 121 mil 121.4 so you just push that in to 120 Point four, it gives us one millimeter to lose when you sand in this and this. Then one millimeter is not a lot, although that is very shiny and doesn't really need much sanding at all. This is really small, as is probably made that too small. So, what I need to do. Turn the lid on. Not quite. There we go, that's on. Mark that out with the pencil, it's the inner one, we know that. There we go. So, I think my legs got a little bit excited, we're turning the lathe up. I think it turned my legs up. Yeah, the joys of being paralysed. Sometimes you get spasms like that and the... Uh, best way for me to Bloody stop legs. is to hit them. No, you're not supposed to hit them. Yes, I do get frustrated with them and hit them. But, um, yeah, that's life. Doesn't help for doing nice smooth wood turning in, though. <laughs> right, get to hollow in that out. Okay. I'm just going over that edge now just to see whether we're at the right width. Nope. I don't want it stupidly, stupidly tight though because the lid's not that big but it is very very wide the bowl so well box so i don't want it ridiculously tight that you break the lid trying to put it on or get it off and starts the long old journey of just edging in edging in just taking a little tiny bit off at a time to make that lid fit nice and tight without getting it stuck or taking too much off and then it doesn't fit at all. Yep, been there. There's no easy way of doing this. Well, I just think the pros are a bit more seasoned at it and get it right after a couple of goes. But even they don't get it right all the time. So I'm definitely not gonna get it right. Hey guys, I'm back. So, um, yeah. Camera battery died. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I've got a new camera, so all these new films and movies, whatever you want to call them, videos, are all going to be recorded on the new GoPro Hero 9. So I'm just getting used to it, um, and hopefully the video footage is coming out okay and it looks all right. I've got it so the lid, actually, that out of the way. I've got it so the lid fits. 
and uh, without realising obviously the camera dies. But when the cylinder lid fits, it just starts going in really tightly up, really tightly. So by the time I've sanded up that edge just there, when it's flipped round, then uh, yeah, because I've got to just tidy up the inside of there obviously. It's good to practice your cuts and practice how to push and pull on the on the gouge, you know, just cutting in from this side and working the way in, which I'll show you, and also pulling from the middle and coming out. But obviously, I'm no expert at this. I'm just playing at it really compared to what the decent guys do. Yeah, let's go on. So 1100 RPM. Face shield on. Anyway, I'll carry on hogging that out and I'll bring you guys back when it's nearly done. See you in a bit. So I had to use my light here because I thought it would help me be able to see, but clearly it doesn't help you guys to see. I uh, didn't know how bad or how good that would come out on camera. Um, I'll uh, fast forward through some of these bits for you so you don't have to be blinded by the light. Okay, I might get a little bit of a catch in a bit and whether it caught it on camera or not. top and that's how deep you are roughly obviously you got that's not exact but that's relatively deep that's pretty good so what I think we'll do is we will take that a little bit thinner on this wall here so wall thickness is too thick for me I like it quite thin so shut it out a bit more um, Smooth that bottom off because that's as bumpy as God knows what. Just take that a bit deeper here into the bottom and flatten the bottom off. Well, that was a catch and a half. Hmm. I'm very glad I was wearing my face shield. Oh no. Must have gone well deep. That big guy just took out of there. See what I've done is I've changed hands and gone left-handed and I'm right-handed obviously. Don't I? Yep. Yeah. Let's see what we can do.
So, do we just give up after that? Hell no. We'll just carry on. It's only a hit in the face on the face shield, but that is why we wear face shields. In wheelchairs is pretty important, because that did put a dent on the face shield. Um, I haven't re-recorded that bit, because I forgot, because I'm a dummy. But yeah, we crack on, carry on with it. Gotta get it right, because it's dogs. Looking forward to sending this out to you, mate. Let's get on with it. Okay, spinning forward again. I'm just gonna do that bottom of the scrape out. So it's inside and outside ready for sanding. Inside and outside of that is ready to sand now. The lid fits relatively well, nothing's moved overnight, so it presses in, but I still, as you can see, it won't go completely flush um, because it's still just that tiny bit too big. It will eventually sit like that, but I just need this needs sanding a little tiny bit, so. We've sanded up the inside of here so far, and I don't want to do, push that any further, so it'll fit really well. And if I can't pull it off too well with that, I have to make some kind of handle a bit like what we've done with the chuck jaw. But so let's whip that off now. And I mark the chuck with a purple marker as well. And we'll know exactly where it goes because the chuck will put grooves in it itself when it bites down on it, as you'll see here. Look, so you can see those that's the, that's the purple pen, but you can see the chuck marks where it's bit down on it. So, all we do is pull that back in, it's quite nice and lightweight, it's quite small. That'd be nice though, oh, and it's done, I think. I don't know what I put in it, maybe sweets. <laughs> I did make it originally for his stickers to go in, but I'm not sure it'd be a sticker one. Or well, a fair few stickers. Right, I can go to one side for a bit. Once we get the very small lid sorted. I'm just going to sort out that warbling on this side as well, for definite. And he's sanding a tiny bit anyway that we already know about. Yeah, just want to put something out there that the past probably six pieces I've made now have had this warbling to them. Now, I'm not 100% certain, but I'm sure that can't be me on every single one of them. I'm not that bad. <laughs> uh, no, I think maybe something wrong with the Patriot Chuck that I got. Uh, maybe a manufacturing issue. So I'm going to investigate that further and maybe have to send it back, get a new one. Right, crack on. Down to 800.
SD card full again. Wow, this camera takes a lot of SD card. Yep, I've got new merch. Look at all them. How awesome. So yeah, please support the channel. If you want to buy one, it's seven quid. Contact me or message in the comments below. I really appreciate your help. Thank you. Right, okay, so. Yorkshire grip. Play on. Look in nice and smoothly, slowly. Okay, that's that done. Now, speed up at 800. I go over it with your rag. Oh, your yeah. tissue, sorry. And the pressure just causes the Yorkshire grit to break down into really fine, like powdery. The aggregates inside it break down, so the sanding compound gets finer and finer and finer. It's over 1200 now. Careful you don't burn your fingers. Ooh, that's warm. Super shiny that is. Lovely. So I've just watched on one of your videos, Doug. Is you like how the light passes into the grain? I can't remember the name of the word for it, I'm sure someone will tell me. This appeal has got great for that, this like gold that comes out of the grain. It flashes. It'd be cool. So, the lid's done, all I've got to do is mark the crystal and wax it. Which I'm going to do right now. Micro crystalline wax. But I'll let that sit for 20 minutes. I'm going to take it off the lathe and get the uh, bowl, bowl, bowl part of it. So for 800, I'm going to put my mask on and we'll get sanding. Okay, I'll start that racket. Now what I'm going to do is get the Yorkshire grip. I'll get the Yorkshire grit abrasive paste out. I'll Yorkshire grit the inside of this. So that's sealed. About 500, uh, 550 RPM.
Ready for the microfine abrasive paste. Turn it right down. Let's just stop it a second, let's have a good look. Oh yeah, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Some lovely colours to it. Problem the fact is uh, Wobbling from side to side. So, Doug, if you watch this video, I apologise. I'm going to go turn the thing round once I've done this and do it all over again. I'm just on the bottom there. So yeah, as you can see, I've got the external bowl drawers. All of them, got them. Um, I'm not sure what's going off to be fair. There's something not quite right here. but Because it's got a warble to it, look. Not sure what's not sure what's going off, but I'm sure when Doug sees the video of this, he can tell me what's going off with it, or what I'm doing wrong, because he's got the same lathe as me. So we'll see, though. All I'm going to do with this is take off that tenon um, and slightly concave the bottom leaving a completely flat bit in the middle for me to put my logo. Well that wasn't too bad was it? Nice and quick, relatively painless. Somewhere in the middle. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, it's definitely come out this time. Right, 25 minutes, and then I can buff that off. 1400. So just give it a little wipe. Where's the lid gone? Put the lid on it. How much would that be?
Okay. No. There's one. Peely bowl box, whatever you want to call it, for you, Doug. I really read the logo much, but I did burn it a little bit too much. Then, oh my god. That's quite stiff. So it's actually hollowed on the inside. Not much. And there's a lid. So, I've made another one, but this one's quite special, this one. It's going to you, Doug, Paul Barnes, hopefully you can watch this. Uh, it's gone all the way over to America, so, and uh, it's nice and tight. A nice and thin lid look. Um, I thought I'd make it for you, Doug, to maybe put your stickers in, or mm, it's about the right size for some sweets, really, though, isn't it? So... Yeah, you can put some sweets in it. It came out okay, it came out quite well. It's Sapili. Um, I like the flash that you get when Sapili grain goes round. You get this lovely flash from it. Uh, the logo, mm, that didn't come out too great, did it? Um, yeah, I'd have to think about something else for that. But the lid's super thin. Happy with that. Um, there's no tenon or mortise anywhere, so you don't know. But we're the warning dog, you have to press it to get it to shut. When it is shut, that's proper fine. Um, I did hollow it on the inside, I hollowed it inside out. So, it does go in quite a bit, it's the first time I've done that, so I'm quite happy with it. And yeah, I'm quite pleased, I'll send it over to you dog, along with some bits, I think probably some stickers. Um, I've got some new cards, so I'll send you a card and uh, there might be a surprise in there. There might be something to keep your head warm. I've got your sticker up, I'm happy about, thank you, uh, along with my sticker next to it. Um, and the only other one is um, SSC and uh, Sticker Mule. So, yeah, not got many. Um, be great to get some other stickers. Um, but, you yeah, know, I've only just started out really. I've not been going too long, have I? Um, the Nova Galaxy lathe is brilliant. It's doing really, really well. It's 10 times the lathe that I am. Lathe that I am? I'm not a lathe. It's 10 times the lathe than I am a turner. <laughs> Put it that way. No, it's really good. Um, thank you for your sticker. Thank you for your note. And I uh, hope you get mine safely. And this comes to you safely. Not in a million pieces. Because it's going a long, long way. Okay. See you later. Thank you.